I was recently asked a question about how to export part of a SharePoint list to Excel. And in this video, I'll be providing the answer. Here we have a list in my SharePoint site. The list is called the Excel Trainer Tutorials, and it's a list of tutorials that you'll find on my site, theexceltrainer.co.uk. There's 109 items in this list, and for each item, there is a tutorial title, the date the tutorial was published on the site, and the URL of the tutorial. If the tutorial contains a video, the YouTube URL is displayed along with the duration of the video. I need to export to Excel the 40 odd rows where there is a video. To do this, I need to create a view. In a SharePoint list, a view is a definition of how the items in the list will be displayed. Every list has a default view called all items. And the definition of that view is that it displays all the columns, all the items or rows, and there are no sorting or grouping settings applied. And you can see that the all items view is currently applied to this list. To create a new view, click on the three dots just to the right of the current view and select create view. Select the type of view required. In this case, I'll click on standard view and give the view a name. I'll call this view videos. I'm going to keep the view as a public view so that anybody who has access to the site can see it. And then I need to define it. I'm going to leave the selected columns type, title, date, URL, video and duration selected. And I want to sort this list by date of tutorial in descending order. And I want to apply a filter. In this case, I want to only show the items where the video column is not equal to a blank. So I actually leave the value box blank. So show the items where the video column is not equal to blank. Once I've done that, click on OK. It automatically makes that new view the active view. So we're now using the videos view on that list. And as you can see, it's just showing me all the items where the video column is not equal to blank, where it has something in it. To switch between views, click on the list tab on the ribbon, click on the drop down arrow against the current view and choose a different view. In this case, I'm going to leave it set to videos. To export the list to Excel, click on the list tab and click on export to Excel. Click on the drop down arrow next to save and select save as. And I want to save this file to my desktop. But it's not going to save an Excel file. It's going to save it as an Excel web query file. And that file creates the link between the SharePoint list and Excel itself. So I'll call this file videos and click save. And then click on open to open videos.iqy. Even though it's an IQI file, it will open it in Excel. I need to enable data connections. Otherwise, it won't be able to connect Excel to the SharePoint list. And there is the information. There is just the 40 odd rows of data out of my 109 where I have a video. We've got the title, the date, the URL, the video, the duration. We've got a couple of extra columns as well which relate to the SharePoint list. At the moment, this is actually an unsaved workbook. So if I go up to save and I save it to my desktop and I'll save it as an Excel file, but I'll call it videos and close it down. Now, back in my SharePoint list, I'm going to make a change to one of the items. So I'll click on edit to edit the list and click in this cell here. And just change this so it just says camera, use the camera to create an interactive image. 
I don't need to save the changes. I just need to click on stop editing this list. And now if I go back to my Excel file and I open the Excel file, not the IQI file. I'll need to enable the data connections, but it hasn't updated A2 or any other changes I've made. What I need to do is click on the table tools design tab, click on a refresh and click on a refresh all. What that does is that goes back to the SharePoint list and updates the Excel file based on the SharePoint list. And I'll now save my Excel file. And that's how to export part of a SharePoint list to Excel and keep the Excel file up to date as the list data updates.